welcome back to Andrew Pittman YouTube and today finally it's arrived you're all watching because of the Zill board it has arrived um, look before I talk about this I want to say that I'm not affiliated with the company I have not, nothing to do with the company I'm just a YouTube reviewer who's been very honored and very privileged to be able to review this on behalf of Zill and the company he was one of my subscribers and contacted me about eight months ago. I had a vision for an electric skateboard that was going to revolutionize the world. And I went, yeah, I've, I've heard this before, but wow, not what he was talking about, what he's going to do and what has actually come into fruition is absolutely incredible. So without putting you in any more suspense, I know a lot of you guys have waited for a long time for this. So let's unbox the Zill board. And this model is, uh, there's two models, we'll talk about them a bit later. This is the white edition, but let's go and unbox it. Now for this, I'm going to actually, I'm going to use the first time in two years, white gloves, because this is worthy of a white glove um, uh, unboxing. And uh, uh, I've got one of my fingers inside out there, so that's not going to do very well. Um, okay, so have we got it. Okay, um, this board is uh, is going to change people's minds about how electric skateboards actually are, are, are built and made, and, it, and that, that's to do with the the e drive, the Zill e drive technology, which we will won't go into too much detail. It is a Kentucky Fried Chicken or C KFC's secret herbs and spices kind of stuff, but look, it's going to. Uh, change the way you um, ride boards and the, what you expect and your expectations of a board. So let's unbox this little board. Here it is here. Wow. The packaging for a start, let me say, I was dropped this off last night. I didn't sleep much because I was so excited. I'm, not, I'm looking at it for the first time like you guys. So let's look at it. Okay, unbox. Oh, actually, gloves and black box don't go too well together. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's have a look at this. There we go. That could be the thumbnail, who knows. Um, look at that. Okay, that's the Zill board. Um, we'll go through it in everything detail. This has got the gummy wheels on by the looks of it. Yep, the gummy, the, they're actually, um, there we go, put it down there. Right, now I'm just gonna just See what else is in the box here. Um, okay, so in the box we've got a nice black container there, nothing in there. Um, we've got, I'll just show you what is in the box there, as you can see. It's got like a nice uh, plastic bubble wrap. Um, oh, we've got a t-shirt. There's a Zill t-shirt. Wow, the Zill emblem on, that's pretty impressive. And the Zill E-Drive looks like, I suppose, the remote control, all the technology in here, the stuff. So we'll put that to the side. Now, I'll just put the box away. That's incredible, that box. I might take these off because actually they're getting a bit slippery to grab stuff. So, But that was important to do the, 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 the virtual unboxing with this uh, white gloves. Now, let's talk about the actual board. Let's look at it. Oh, my gosh. It's pretty heavy. I'd say, I'm guessing I'd say about 10 kilos, maybe more. Okay, straight away, let's just go have a look at, on first, on first look at this thing. Yes. This is incredible in terms of look. I'm just, it's just so refined. It's just, actually, you can option for, obviously, uh, you can option for the pneumatic, um, uh, which is these ones here, the air tie ones, or you can also option for the, uh, the gummy urethanes. It's the same rim, the same size rim, so you can essentially just have the one set of rims and you could just put on uh, you know the you change so you, it's like changing a tire you wouldn't want to do that so you can option for coming coming with the pneumatics or you can option them for extra uh, for the changes if you do do that you'll get the belts um, and you'll get also it's the same size uh, teeth on that particular pulley for that so just put that there um, wow okay so let's have a look at this thing wow okay um, for starters um, I, I'm just you know, most people can't afford to buy a Porsche, and this is, I'm gonna nickname this the Porsche RS. Um, uh, this is uh, one of these, um, <laughs> I'm just speechless for a second, this is incredible. This has actually got one of the most refined finishes I've ever seen uh, on, a, um, on a board. It's, wow, okay. Just gonna take this in for a second, guys. This is incredible. Okay, we'll look at the bottom part of it. Okay, this is the underneath carriage where the battery compartment goes. Now, if you can pick that up, it's got a very, very, very fine profile there. And there's little slots the whole way cut into this undercarriage. I understand it's IP55 uh, rating, all of this. 
You've also got something I've not seen before, which is an air intake here, which obviously cools the vest controllers. Um, and that obviously is also a waterproof rating. Uh, you've got the coils in here for suspension and you've got dampening effects you can tighten from tools. It's a classic tramper. This is a top tramper build. Uh, wow, we've got a headlight on the front here, which I think is 4,000 odd lumens. It's controlled by, I'm pretty sure, the remote. So let's have a look at, um, yeah, so there you go. Looking at just, have a good look at that. The motors and underneath. It's not too heavy, actually. It's not too bad at all. Um, wow. Insane. Okay, right. Now, we're going to open the box and have a look what's in here. So I'm just going to put this down here for a second. Let's have a look at what's inside here. This is going to be, obviously, the remote. And, wow, the casing is like a fiber carbon type finish. It's rubber handles, the e-dry. It's just, you don't get this at any other company, pretty much. I've never seen this before. Okay. Oh my gosh, okay. I think what I need to do is get you to come with me and have the full experience like I am looking inside this and we'll go through what's in the actual controller and have a look how it all works. So we'll come have a look now. Okay guys, I've got the white gloves on again because I want to uh, showcase this uh, as, as like a, a Swiss watch. Uh, okay, Zil, Zil, look at the quality of this case. It's just beautiful. And this is what you'll travel with. Now, I want to add, apparently, Zil said that when the batteries come out of the board, we'll talk about the airline friendly batteries, they're an individual 65 watt hour pa pa little packets. They will fit in here. And this is your travel pack for the batteries, right? So let's have a look. Okay, wow. Well, you're looking at this for the first time like me. Um, there's the instruction booklets, obviously, everything there. Uh, we'll go through this in a second, what that is. Some Zill stickers at the back, beautiful. Okay, as I said before, the battery pack systems are airline friendly. So what um, Zill's done here, let's open this Ziploc bag. Uh, he's provided um, wire protection guards. Okay, so what these are, they're little guards with rubber in here. The, refi the work involved with this is just incredible. So when you take your individual 65 watt hour batteries out, these will fit over the sides, protect it, sandwich them and protect the wiring while you're traveling and they'll they'll slot into, into the case here. They all fit in here. So that's an added bonus to protect the wires. They are heavy duty, heavy duty wiring. I'll go through some of the, the photos over picture in picture soon, but I'll sh show you that later. That's the guard to the battery. That's the top uh, compartment done. You've got your USB charger. It's, oh, it's a, um, it's a not a mini USB, a mini. It's a mini USB C, B C, C C grade. It's a slightly bigger one, better for current and for charging. And obviously, it's a lipo battery in the remote. That's your charger. Here's your remote. Wow. One thing uh, Zill does is he's priding himself on his Zill drive, as you can see here. And this is the technology you're getting: a really high quality chargers, really high quality leads, really high quality. Wait to see the inside of battery compartment will blow your mind. So Aussie plug on that for if you're Australian, if you're in the United States or UK, you'll have your plugs there. So that's all there. Okay, what's this? Uh, that's the rest of the bag. Oh, check this out. It's just a, it's embossed leather. And this is, I mean, look, you, you can say, oh yeah, it's all for show. It's not. This is the level of sophistication and refinement that goes in this product. That's what I am actually blown away with. And this is just, the image it's presenting on the surface, but underneath the, the hood, the bonnet, for you American guys, it's all there as well. So you're getting the highest quality piece of, uh, that looks like the remote will like, surprise everybody, including me with that in a second. Uh, that's uh, okay, so anything, that's nothing else in there. The gloves are getting caught on the Velcro. It's the natural predator of the Velcro, the glove. Well, the, okay, um, little ratchet tool, beautiful to actually undo the battery compartment. Uh, apparently it takes about uh, five minutes from start to finish to take all the, the screws off the bottom uh, and then to, um, to ratchet them off and then obviously change the batteries. They click into the, this case here for traveling and you're overseas in another airport, another country riding your, your electric skateboard, Zill board. Um, fuses, uh, extra nuts, everything in there. There's a whole kit, tool assembly, the whole thing. So that's all that. Gee, I'm really impressed with... Uh, I'm really impressed with how I'm working with these gloves, frankly. <laughs> okay, um, right, let's have a look at the remote. Now, before I talk about the remote, it, 
Zill told me he didn't want anything too, too liquid crystal, too LCD, too modern. He's keeping it retro, he's keeping it very refined, and also all your instruments and all your controlling, it will all be done through an app, which is an app for your phone, or it'll be integrated to the watch community with Garmin and Apple Watch down the track, and it'll be, that's the interface you'll be using for your dashboard. So essentially, um, uh, this remote is is gonna not have the LCD. I have again, embossed in the leather, oh my God, keep picked up on the camera I think we can get a nice close up that wow okay so the remote is ergonomically beautiful to feel in your hand there's a trigger it's got it's based on the evolve design with the finger fits into the bottom and I've got gloves on and it's working beautifully um, yeah it's a nice feel your little finger sits on the bottom uh, yeah so this is your remote now it's leather, completely leather embossed right round, leather embossed on the trigger. Uh, now, I'll take you through the, uh, the functionality in a minute, but basically you turn it on the bottom here, you flick it there, the light comes on, your blue light showing your, your, your remote's active. The board will then, um, will turn on. I'm not gonna turn on, I don't want this thing firing off, the, off my table here at 100 miles an hour. So um, uh, you then have the headlight control, which we'll go through in a minute, but that's how you turn it on and off. You've also got the, um, the USB charger. It's just a beautiful, stylish piece. Yeah, it's just a beautiful remote, and I'm really, really impressed with that. So this will, uh, this will be your, your actual tool to control the board, and then you'll have all the interface through your watch or through a smartphone app, which will be available to, to, to change the braking. To, we'll go through that in another, uh, another probably vlog to show you how that all works. Um, but there, that's the remote. So essentially, that is, if you can get that in picture, let's have a look at this here just quickly for a second. Okay, now um, what I want to talk about just briefly now is um, the motors. Uh, the motors are actually 3,000 um, watt each. These are the ones, some of the best motor builders in uh, coming out of China, and this is a custom built for Zill. You've got the, um, you've got the 125 millimeter gummies on here, as you can see close up, and these are going to be amazing street ride i'll be riding these when i go for my test ride now on it you can option for the 165 millimeter as i said pneumatics and they have the same rim type as you can see um, and these are interchangeable if you need but i would you know seriously i just buy a second set and you just have just like changing the wheel like that rather than taking the you wouldn't take the rubber off uh so yes. um Let's have a look at, uh, I'm really impressed with that. Now, it's, in terms of the actual, um, the, 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 the suspension here on the truck, so the t it actually has a damper in the middle, which you adjust with the tool, so you can tighten or loosen, and you can get looser and lighter dampers, so you can carve more. You can also uh, option to have nothing in there, and it carves like crazy. Uh, the titanium pins, um, this is all the state. Now, also, I'll show you later, uh, Zill's incorporated a rear light into the, rear there which will turn on and show you how the motors work in a minute uh polished motor mounts beautiful motor mounts on the back um it's just it, it's just an ins insane piece of uh design this this is now the deck is a composite deck it's uh it's unbreakable as um uh, tramper have talked about and it's just uh, a beautiful angle deck we'll go into more pictures in it, of it in a minute um but basically uh you know you've got uh a, a, an incredible angle, um, a 30 degree angle in the front, and they're 850 millimeter length deck. Look at that, it's actually just a slightly bit, uh, I think, longer than the Evol, or one of the, the, the standard boards, so it's not really a big board. Um, let's have a look at um, the headlight system. This is something that's gonna be uh, on the signature models and you can option for. Um, there it is there, but I'll go into more detail in a second. I'll lift it up for a second. They are built into the remote control. So you have the switch on the remote control here. The bottom switch will control the high beam, low beam, and will also control the, um, uh, the, the, the band. Look, I'll go into, I'll, I'll boot it up and we'll show you how that works, okay? So you'll have high and low beam while you're riding integrated as well as um, you know the, the, the rear light always going on. But that's just pretty much unboxing at the moment. So let's go now and look at the whole stuff on the on the table and we'll go through more of the technical specs of it all uh, right now. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you now what you actually get in the actual uh, kit. 
Now, I'll just add these pneumatics are not part of the, uh, the white edition, the special edition, or the black edition you're going to be ordering as a set unit. These are obviously optional extras, and that's the pneumatics, as you can see. Look, if you live in an area where you've got really bad roads and you sort of want to do a lot of dirt riding, I'd just option for those. Uh, personally, I like the road riding and the gummies. Uh, urethanes are what I'd be choosing. Uh, they're the 125s, and these are the 165 pneumatics. So they don't come in the kit. I'll cover them with my hands so you can't see them, the, but the, the kit is as it is. We'll go through what's in there. That's your beautiful pouch that comes with all the, um, the remote and the accessory pouch. Uh, also doubles as the battery um, casing when you travel overseas. Each of the 62 watt hour battery uh, positioning compartment um, uh, pieces will come apart and go into here for traveling and all be airline friendly. Uh, there's a tool here, as I said, to undo that and we'll talk about that. So there's the, there's the battery um, uh, compartment uh, carry case as well as your uh, function you know, uh, features and uh, accessory pouch. Um, you have the t-shirt, you've obviously got uh, the charger and you've got the 240 volt. Um, this, is, this is part of this Zill Drive technology I'll talk about in a second, which is a sophisticated charger. It's not your normal run-of-the-mill charger. You've got your remote charger for the remote. There's the beautiful embossed leather remote um, Zill Drive. It's just sleek, it's just retro, it's simplistic, but it works and it's beautiful. You've got the incorporated headlights in the button there, which is high, low and medium and also flashes. It's all wirelessly, wirelessly controlled to the headlights, which are here, which we're gonna show you in a minute and get them booted up and show you. Uh, this is 4,000 lumens. It's just insane. To have that sort of functionality while you're riding at night is just, is just well, it hasn't been seen before, I don't think, in, in that terms of remote uh, wirelessly. And of course, you've got a nice little pouch here with a beautiful leather embossed Zill drive to sort of hold your remote when you travel and all your, all your goodies. So that's basically uh, what's in the box, guys. So that's gonna be the whole uh, kit you'll get. Now let's talk about models, okay? There's actually two models here. There's, uh, I'll give you the models. They're SR6K-S and SR6K-R. Now I'll just, there'll be a lot of talk in the comments. What is SR? SR is Street Racer. It's, this is a performance, this is like a Porsche. Um, so this is what they are, a Street Racer. Uh, the SR is the street race. The 6K is obviously the 6K reflecting the motors. That's 3,000 watts per motor, which is 6,000 total watts on the motors. And the Dash S is going to be an S model, which is going to be speed model. Think of it as your S model car. And then the other one, the Dash R, is going to be your racing, your R model, your sports model. Why are they different? Because the motors are geared differently. They will actually take you to a different speed range. So in the, the S model, you'll get a speed up to around about 50 kilometers per hour. Yes, I know you're now jaws off the ground, 50 kilometers per hour on the S. Now, the, uh, the R model will do up to 65 kilometers per hour. And look, there are options to change the gearing on here to go up to 80 kilometers per hour, possibly and you'll have no problem doing that. So look, if you are a nut and you want to go 80 kilometers an hour on a skateboard, you've come to the right place. <laughs> uh, but anyway, look, let's get, move on. So that's the models, okay? Now, in terms of uh, the, the, the styling, you've got the white edition and the black edition. And this is the white edition, which you can see here. It's got beautiful uh, white alloy, as I said. And you've then got the black edition, which will be all black, which will actually be um, pretty much just blacked out. So it's going to be more your stealth, more for the, the buyer that wants to be unassuming and cool, but doesn't want to stand out. Uh, as I said, du beautiful DuPont nylon rims, uh, polished aluminium, and the beautiful black inserts on the on the white edition. Uh, it's just, uh, yeah, it's sexy as. So now we'll talk a little bit about some of the technology under the bonnet. Okay, this is it. This is it. What does it say? Zilli Drive. What, what is it? We can't actually explain it. It's just something that Zill has designed from the drone industry in terms of battery management. For instance, this particular board can draw 500 amps, 500 amps, but uh, yeah, the motors obviously only need 80 amps each and the vest will only draw a constant current of 80 amps. But it's like having a bucket, full bucket of water when you only need a quarter bucket of water to water plants. You've still got three quarters of bucket of water left. It's, on, it's constantly available. That's the key word, 500 amps. That's why you have no voltage sag, zero voltage sag. Uh, that's going to be one of the primary focuses of this particular technology. You can't mimic it. You can't replicate it. You can't copy it. This has got biochemists involved and chemical engineers to design this battery system. No, I'm not. This is under here. Uh, and once you ride it, you'll see the last 10 feet before this thing dies it'll still have the punch and bite of a full battery now can you just 
just comprehend that for a second, okay? That's what you're getting, that's what your money is being invested in this particular product. Um, look guys, I'm gonna now flip it over, look at the bottom of it, we'll talk a bit about, we'll kick it off and start it, and we'll have a look at the remote control and the headlight and the wireless, make sure it all, and listen, to, we'll have a listen to these sounds of these motors. Uh, look at this polished, beautiful polished uh, motor, motor mount. It's just, it's just, refinement the built-in light on the back that brake light goes all the time you've got your adjustable uh you know uh, damper effects for your springs it's just yeah this is your porsche um this is your porsche of your electric skateboard there's no doubt about that let's let's move on now to the bottom of it we'll have a look at that now underneath of it and this is it here okay right i'm gonna actually just show you this is the battery uh, it's all cut in here, it's slotted, it's waterproofed, and I'll talk about this this area here, which you're obviously looking at right now too. This is the curved battery compartment. All the lipos are in here. There's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty-four screws um, on that uh, to uncase the bottom of it. Uh, you have a tool that ratchets that. Uh, now, once you take that out uh, and put this back on again. This is so solid, I can't believe. This feels like metal, it's so, but it's actually this, this incredible composite system that Tramper talk about it can never snap. You can't break this, this deck is just, you know, it's obviously unbreakable uh, and they warranty it for that. Okay, the sophisticated air intake here, which is gonna cool the, uh, the heat sinks of the, uh, of the vests and the, uh, the, the speed controller. And it comes out the back here as well and it gets extracted out so it's going to pull the air in and, and just you know, completely keep the, uh, it's not seen before because most of the skateboards, you got the heat from the road coming up. This is going to have air intake in and air extraction out, cooling the vesk and the speed controller heat sinks. It'll never ever get hot. This has not been seen before, this technology here. Um, so that's the only thing of it as well. Now I might just uh, flip back around, we'll turn it on and we'll get this thing powered up. Okay, just a close up of that vent system. You can see here it's incredibly designed and this is something really I've never seen before in any uh, electric skateboard and uh, I think in a climate where it's warm in Australia this is going to be an absolute big seller uh, in terms of you know obviously protecting and looking after your vest controller getting efficiency and maximum cooling so there you go that's the uh, that part there I want to start her up now okay guys we're now gonna the, <laughs> the moment of truth we're going to turn the zill board on and i want you techo guys and uh technology uh self-build e-skater guys to listen to these motors uh we'll turn it on this is where you turn on the bottom of the um the uh controller there we go and automatically you see a blue light come on the front of the controller um this indicates you've got the obviously transmitter from the controller being transmitted let's have a look at um turning it on it's under here Whoa, it's like turning on a nuclear uh, reactor. Here you go, it's on. Whoa, okay. Um, let's, wow, look at the tail light on it. Insane. Uh, so this is going to be always constantly on, built into the Tramper V of the truck. This is just, again, the, just the attention to detail that Zill is doing on this thing is just insane. So let's, uh, let's hear the motors. Now, this is all programmable. I'll show you in a minute the app that we'll need to show uh, you know, uh, you guys on how you adjust the app and how you adjust the, it's an eco mode at the moment. So that's why these motors won't sound fully taught. But let's have a look. Okay, one, two, three. Oh my God. Brakes are beautiful. I'll be honest. Uh, this is, feels like a, if there was a if there was a Porsche skateboard, this feels like a Porsche skateboard. Okay, let's just check out the headlights. Okay, well, first of all, before we leave the motors, that's just eco mode. I'll show you the app that you can. There's an app. See what happens with this particular controller. It's a refined, beautiful retro leather embossed, uh, beautiful ergonomic system. But what happens, yeah, no screen. Well, who wants to look at a stupid screen on your remote? You want it on your watch, your Garmin watch, your Apple watch, you want it on your, maybe your iPad or your, in your forearm, I'm putting my um, 
iPhone 7 my forearm and having the app there it gives you voltage the speed the long distance you can tr control everything so I'll go into details about that so the, the future is guys not LCD screens on remotes the future is incorporating wirelessly to your app okay that's where you need this you let the sophistication come from the app builders and not from the a remote builder uh, so again you know whoa <laughs> Oh, that, the headlights, how they work, um, we'll just go around and look at this. Um, this is your headlight system. Uh, look, Zill apparently went and tended out to 50 companies to get the best sophistication you could in headlights. They've got different beams. These headlights have got not 4,000 lumens, but they're tuned lenses for skateboarding and for the deck. So as the deck flexes, this thing levels out in the road. It's astounding technology. You've got two 30 degree and two 10 degree lenses that shoot out in different directions. The work that's gone to this headlight alone is about six or seven weeks. They basically are the state of the art. Now, when you're riding on group rides, you know, guys, that headlights are critical and be able to turn them off and on and down and high beam is one of the most important aspects of it so um let's have a look let's have a look at the headlight you hit it once to turn them on and they come on whoa okay. aren't they amazing lights well that's only low beam to get the high beam you use the up button which is this one here and then the low beam will go down low beam is a lower button so let's go to the next level Oh my gosh, that's medium. That's high beam. Can you believe that? Oh, there's another one. There's actually four levels. I can't believe this is even. Let's see, I'm just learning like you guys. Okay, so to come down, you just go on the bottom button. So that's you know, obviously level three, level two, level one. And then obviously off, you just hold the button down for a few seconds, it turns them off. Now, if you want flashing mode, you hold the button down for sort of 10 seconds and uh, it goes into a flashing mode. Uh, which is great for emergency or if you want to get somewhere in a hurry or you want to just, uh, yeah, there's reasons for that. So we'll just turn it off. Now that kind of sophisticated technology, having a remote in the, uh, a, sorry, a button for the headlights on the remote is not seen before. Uh, so that 4,000 lumens, that's like more than car headlights. So we'll just go back down. Yep, there we go. I know I'm harping on this, but this is a wonderful functionality of this particular board. Okay, so that's the headlights, the motors, as you can see, we'll show another angle here um, uh, of this, another angle. Wow, fantastic. Okay guys, we're now gonna just talk about the app quickly and show you a bit or how the app works. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you now the incorporated app. You can, there's many apps you could probably download, but the one I recommend is the METR. We'll just click on that. Uh, up comes the interface like this. This will be on your watch. Well, like I said, my iPhone 7, I'll have it in my arm here, in my forearm, so I'll see this at a glance. Uh, it basically shows you the current uh, battery level. It shows you the kilometers, the speed you're traveling, how much, how far you've traveled, the amps you're drawing, the watt hours you've used. Um, look, I'll just turn it on and show you. Now this is, uh, I'll just have a look. The next tab here uh, on this app comes up with all the different speeds. You can see it says slow mode, normal, fast, custom. And this is gonna blow your mind. You, you it, it basically wirelessly talks to the ESC. Uh, the VESC, sorry, I'm used to using ESC for Chinese market. Um, so let's have a look, uh, we'll turn it on, we'll just go back now and we'll just go back to the main interface uh, dashboard and we'll just uh, accelerate and I'll show you what's happening here. As the motors go slow, you can see its speed is 9.6 kilometers per hour. This is, and this, is all, this is all adjustable, but this is showing you uh, how much uh, you've traveled and your amp draw, right? Now, if you want to change the speed, you just go to this, particular tab here and you then go right I want to go it'll go normal for instance we'll slide normal across it now says writing configuration to uh, esc dash two it's now sending whilst you're transmitting yep bang the ticks on there you're now in normal mode and now when you go back to your main screen we'll see what normal mode is like oh my that's insane that and you can see when you do that you're doing the motors your speed now 24 24 kilometers an hour uh, and this, again, hasn't been calibrated properly yet. This is still early days, but it gives you an idea. Um, when I ride tomorrow, I'll probably put it on eco or more, normal mode because this thing will travel up to 50 kilometers an hour when, when needed. So that's the app, guys. It talks to the 
obviously the uh, the VESC, and these are the original official VESCs in this system, VESC 6. is not anything from, no disrespect to China, but I know they're making some good copy VESCs coming out of there, but this is the original, obviously the patent tramper VESCs that come out of um, UK. Uh, so that's, uh, that's the app. So this is the future, guys. Sophisticated, neat, uh, unassuming remotes, with especially you know, leather embossed, with headlight built in, and you got your app, which will go in your forearm, which is protected when you're riding, as it's in this arm here, and then you're not gonna, you know, obviously damage it, and you just have all this information at hand when you need it. So that's that part. So I'll just sum up now and come back to you, and then we're gonna go and have a ride on this thing, and um, look at the streamline. Those batteries are so thin in there. It's like, it's insane. All this incredible, like Kevlar cooling, you know, a sheathing on the cables. It's just, it's just, it just oozes uh, sophistication, refinement, this thing. So anyway, guys, um, it's been a pleasure to unbox it and we'll just go for a quick ride. And uh, then of course the tests will follow, which is gonna be the hill climb, the long range and the speed test and sprint test. And then, uh, yeah, you guys, if you wanna order, uh, I'd say be best in first dressed, I think. The moment these are hand built by Zill, it's like getting a Savile Row suit from uh, High Street London, tailor made for you. It's this is not your normal, you know, skateboard company at the moment. This is this is very very, uh, you know, sort of boutique custom sort of design stuff. But it may go full, obviously full stream, and then that'll all change, and you'll get a lot more um, opportunities to order quickly and buy in bulk or whatever. But Anyway, guys, I'll come back in a minute. I'll just. Okay, we're going to um, we're going to do the test ride now hello. on the. Yeah, we're going. Oh, hello. Everybody. We're going to do the Zillboard. We're going to do the Zillboard. Un well, we've done the unboxing. We're going to do the ride now. So um, I'm going to pad up. So I'll, you'll watch me pad up because this is going to be going. Well, I don't know how fast I go here, but it's certainly going to be uh, pretty quick. Here we are at the park. Look at this. It's it, look. It's not super light. It's about I think about uh, ten. 11 maybe maybe touching 12 kilos but um it's an incredible uh design and there, there's the zill boards you can see it now we're going to take it for a ride well i mean we i mean i'm going to take it for a ride <laughs> uh so i'm going to totally pad up guys boys and girls out there helmets pads the whole thing this is going to uh just get a showcase of what this thing can do in terms of speed um it's going to be a, a pleasure to ride i can't wait to ride this <laughs> I haven't been over 50 kilometers an hour on a skateboard yet, but I don't think I'll be doing 50 here because this is not really the right location for it. But we will test that out the full speed at probably Olympic Park. We did the long range distance test. So, um, yeah, we're going to put these on. And uh, these knee pads are the best. I mean, they're China, but I've got to get some of the impact ones. But to be honest, you can't beat the hard plastic. <laughs> This is what you need when you're riding a zoom board. <laughs> Look, at the end of the day, I want to make a... St this helmet I've been wearing is actually a, a reinforced bump cap, okay? And it's pretty heavy. It's as heavy as a, a... It's pretty thick. However, only when you're experienced or if you kind of, you know, want to just ride just small. But, yeah, helmets. How they go? Like this, okay? That's what you need. Always helmets. Okay. He puts his armor on for the ride. The gladiator. <laughs> this is the first time in the world, guys, you can see this board being ridden. Um, if I can get this helmet on. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, sit back and enjoy. Okay. Okay, guys, we're about to have the first ride on the Zill board, as you can see. Here it is. Uh, I have to tell the truth, I did have a ride because it's so powerful, I have to check it out before I actually ride it. And this thing is, uh, well, let's go for a ride and I'll explain what it does. Okay guys, here it is before I go for a ride with the remote. Now look, I'm going to just tell you something right now. Um, get that in the light. Okay, there's the remote. We're going to take it for a ride. Here she is, look at this. Now. I've, having a, I've had a quick ride, and I'll tell you right now, this is like I can imagine a Porsche would be to drive. Uh, it's precision engineering, it's dead accurate acceleration and dead accurate braking. Uh, and this is on standard mode. Now I'm going to do a speed test in a minute, but this will do 55 kilometers per hour. I'll probably reach 45 here. It's not a really safe place to, there's people around, it's a Saturday, dog walkers. But uh, let's go for a ride on this thing again, uh, and I'll show you 
the sound the whistle makes like you just heard then these motors at a certain point incredible okay guys second ride on the zill board as you can see let's uh let's go right we've got some people up here on the path i'm gonna wait to go past them i don't want to run over a kid right now if i can help it let's go too fast here guys because it's just not enough run up or anything but anyway um, you can hear the whistle on these motors it's just uh, incredible so um, yeah wow okay let's just break oh beautiful just perfect oh my god hello there's my fan there's my fan there's my fan club there's my fan club the Vest 6 dual controller is effortless and it's refined and it's absolutely perfect. You can't fault it. I mean, there's there's nothing I can say. It just pulls in like a Porsche or a, a Porsche RS would push in, in a braking system. Um, the acceleration is just damn, damn crazy. It's just ridiculous. Uh, I can't get full speed here because simple fact there's not enough room and run up uh, but I will test it at the long range distance test we'll do a, do a test but I will do a sneak speed test now so I can get to 45 kilometers now in this small little area let's go okay okay let's do a speed test from my angle so you can see my face okay wow this is sketchy hear those I mean that that's the inert that's the speed you're getting just as a, a punch I've got you need a runway for this thing seriously I don't know how fast that was but yeah I can't get enough run up here but anyway we'll, we'll just Saturday it's a bit too busy unfortunately wow check out that speed though It's astounding. It's that's a first test ride on the Zill board, and that's what we're going to be looking at. This is the uh, gummy urethanes, so uh, I suspect um, you know you could get. I have to test out the all pneumatics as well as on a long distance ride. So that's a wrap on the first ride, guys. <laughs> Exhilarating plus adrenaline plus, and uh, I might just leave you with a ride with the headlights on and show you turn them on and off. So next time, guys, safe skating, happy skating. Andrew Penman signing off. Say. Amazing. <laughs> anyway, guys, long range distance test coming up, hill climb and speed and sprint test, and we'll uh, we'll take you through those on the zoo board. Just when you thought the video was finished. Welcome back, guys. 
<laughs> yes, just when you thought it was finished. 43 minutes is enough, and I know it's been a one big vlog on the unbox of the Zill board, but uh, it had to have that time frame with so much to cover. But congratulations, you've reached the end here. A lot of people might not have reached the end, so therefore you've unlocked the special giveaway bonus offer. So tonight, tonight I'm gonna to give away one prize. It's a 260 US dollar set of Zill headlights with four beams, remote, wireless buttons, the whole thing zipped up in a case, shipped to your door. All you did enter the contest, you put down in the comment field your favorite emoji. Just dump it in there. Don't have to comment, just put your emoji in there. I'll hit back with a like or love or whatever and that will confirm you're in the contest. 10 days from today, we're gonna to do it live at midnight again. I'll do the random draw and the winner will be announced. You'll see that in a vlog called the winner of the uh, of the Zillboard Headlight LED fully. Uh, it's, it's a mind blowing system, okay? Uh, a couple quick shout outs. I wanted to say, uh, hey Casey, love your work. I saw you the orange baseball cap. I'm the orange baseball cap guy. I know mimicking is the best form of flattery. Uh, love your work. Thanks for coming, Casey. Um, I'm going to also thank uh, a guy called Martin Murphy in Ireland. He's been working with me in terms of talking about technology, wireless remote from backpack, charging your skateboard wirelessly while you ride. This technology is around the corner. It's going to be an incredible benefit to the industry. So keep an eye on that. Thank you, Martin. Uh, Far East Tech is a great channel. Check it out, guys. A young guy in the States is doing great reviews on gadgetry stuff like uh, iPhone accessories and, um, you know, obviously, every, he does all sort of gadgetry stuff. He does, you know, mouses and remotes and all stuff. Can be, check his channel out, support him. He's a great young uh, up and coming reviewer. Till next time, guys. Love your work. Thanks for coming. As I said, I'll see you in the next vlog, which will be the, the, the Zillboard um, Long Range Distance Test. We'll get some more stats on that. We'll do the next time, guys. Happy skating, safe skating. We'll see you in the next vlog. Andrew Pemmons signing off. That's a wrap.